Jesus freak here. Now, I was thinking, oh no, Jesus freak's thinking again. But this was uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, another YouTuber, believe his name is Andrew Remillard, posted on his um, YouTube channel. And because I'm frequently looking at his page to um, let others listen to stuff that I haven't typed into my computer yet or whatever. Well, he said he found in this 1985 hymnal, and there is a scan on hymnary.org. You may well have gotten it from there. A rather unusual setting a fairly common hymn. Now, a lot of hymns early on, you had a bunch of tunes and you had a bunch of hymns that went with, that the tunes and the hymns could be matched up to, but there wasn't any, you know, standard way to uh, pair them up. This is why, for example, I've heard The Lord's My Shepherd on that want, the uh, Scottish Psalter version of Psalm 23, with three different tunes. And <laughs> this hymn I'm going to talk about also appears in three different tunes, and actually he's, he's dug up even more. Now, I'm going to look it up in this. This is a hymnal our church uses. And no, this wasn't stolen from church. They use red hymnals. This is navy blue. This was uh, bought off eBay several years ago. Um, let's see. It's like I say, though, you, you cannot go wrong with Charles Wesley hymn. Mm -hmm. 363. So, here's how it looks. And I'm going to play it through once. For most of you, this is probably the way you know that hymn. Now, I have played this tune on my channel in one of my Sunday morning videos. And I used a different tune. I'll show you how it appears here in this hymnal, but I did it with 
I reharmonized it because uh, it's copyrighted. So what you, you'll see here, you'll see the page as it is in the hymnal. What you're going to hear is my harmonization, not this one, which is by Austin C. Lovelace. Now, you'll notice one thing about both these melodies, especially the first one. They're upbeat, and they're major key. In fact, the first one fugues kind of like um, Joy to the World. Now, this is the one he dug up. Now, did you notice something about it? It's slow, and it's in a minor key. Gives it a completely different tone. Not exactly in his words, but he noted that the way it sounds with the first tune, Sejina, and I've noted somewhat with the second tune, Fillmore, as well, it gives you the idea of expressing joy that Christ would do such a thing. But the third tune, called Yena by uh, Melchior Hupius, it's an old German tune. You'll notice that it has a completely different feel. It almost gives you more of the idea of How could I merit this, rather than how could I merit this? And honestly, I think it's a better fit. To the point that I've actually created for my uh, collection... of um, cards that go into the videos. I've switched from using Fillmore to using Ana. Give me an 
mind to hear what you guys think. Jesus freak out. <laughs>